stop that brand, the Zeri and the Varus, but they can't disrespect them. Four stacks for Milky Way, by the way, so it does have that range increase. Call of the Forge gone, and DDZ flashes to make it happen. Base run, the target, and found a triple knockup from life as Care is on the bottom side, but he dips away as they try and jump onto him. Doctum getting the damage down in the meantime. It's 4v4 on the map right now, but there's no jungler for the side of TT as Doctum chases TT away. Being picked apart, it's the Drake for FPX, and perhaps a little bit more. Feather flash away from his life, finds the knockup as well, and the FBX afloat, one extent falls, not a single casualty in the follow-up fight. FBX, oh lord! Doesn't have oh. the damage at this point, we're back into a we're fight! Going again, and CDZ's been caught this time, a good start for TT as life gets onto the back lines, try and answer, but he's caught himself. A double kill for Hoya as Dogdom will go down too. You can get that, and it's Barry. Barry is onto the map! TT, they found a miracle again! Matron looking for the start! Knocked up by the death charge, but he will survive. The Call of Forge God tries to save him as well. Tower down though, and Hoyas is charging up forwards. Yukal is dying to stack up on this area. Sure that fights are starting on their terms, but you can't deny the power of this brand in this late game. We've seen him do it all year. TDZ on tank duty here, looking for Feather. And here comes the Choo Choo train, but no! Doesn't get the second hit, and Milky Way's being burnt down. Lamb's Rest by already used here. As on the front line, Baytron gets into the Lamb's Rest by himself. The shield is there, and Mikhail saves the day. But FPX are so low. Arrows go! And the knockoff from DDZ nearly saves the day. Stop from Hoya as Care tries to carry, and he might just do it. One extent falls, and Care wants redemption from Spring as he takes the game by.